is a perfect way to kick off our first topic, high school softball. This week has been packed with rivalry action as the Coconino Panthers took on the Flagstaff Eagles. These girls teams have been neck and neck all season long, with the Eagle girls sitting at number four and the Panther girls sitting just below them at number five in the 4A Grand Canyon region. Katie, these two rivalry games were their last for both teams in regional play. You had the chance to see these girls play on Tuesday. What stood out to you and what can these teams improve on as the state championship approaches? Yeah, Morgan, these girls have been neck and neck in their regional rankings all season. And this past Tuesday proved just how back and forth the two high-ranking teams can be during their first game of Rivalry Week, which also happened to be Flagstaff Softball Senior Night. Two players that stood out to me were seniors Brianna Batoni and Flagstaff from Flagstaff and Mackenzie Miller-Smith from Coconino. Batoni is above the national batting average at 375, has an on-base percentage of 444, and 12 hits this season. She bats at the top of the lineup and started this intense game off with a dinger over the fence. Brianna proved herself to be a team player when after the win on her home field, she said that producing runs for her teammates is one of her main thoughts during the game. Miller Smith was also a great team player during the Tuesday game when she was consistently reassuring her teammate pitcher Caitlin Snowpeck that she has her back on the field. With a three-run homer in the fifth inning, she was also a strong force at the plate. With the state championship fast approaching, both of these teams can work on minimizing their errors defensively as well as pop-ups behind the plate. Both Flagstaff and Coconino suffered a few errors on the field, which ultimately resulted in runs for the other team. Practice makes perfect, and in between games, these teams will be hard at work to improve before the season comes to an end. As you saw on Tuesday, Katie, these girls battled it out until the very end. Ultimately, the Eagle girls came away with a 13-12 win. With a total of 10 seniors from both rosters, there's no doubt in my mind that their last high school rivalry games will be one they remember. We'd like to congratulate both teams on a highly successful season. We look forward to what is in store for these girls next year.